Welcome back to America Decides. A projected 40.2 million people with disabilities are eligible to vote this election, according to a recent Rutgers University study. For many, voting by mail is the most accessible way to cast their ballots. But growing restrictions to mail-in voting are creating new challenges for voters with disabilities. Our Katie Weiss spoke with one Louisiana woman at the heart of a legal battle looking to overturn these laws. For Ashley Volion, accessibility is a constant concern. Volion has spastic cerebral palsy and requires assistance with daily tasks. If you didn't have those services every day, what would that be for you? I honestly don't know what I would do because they help me live my life as independently and as inclusive in the community as possible. Volion also needs help when casting her vote. I do absentee ballots by mail. Here in Louisiana, to cast your absentee ballot, you have to get a witness to sign. But new state election laws passed this summer make it illegal to help more than one person who's not an immediate family member. What was your first reaction? I just worried a lot about people casting their ballot. I worried for my self rights. Louisiana Secretary of State Nancy Landry says the new laws are intended to protect the state's elections. Since 2016, Louisiana has only seen three cases of election fraud. But advocates argue the laws are disenfranchising the over 1 million disabled voters and residents of over 1,300 care facilities who may rely on assistance. According to the Brennan Center, since 2020, more than 20 states have passed laws restricting mail-in ballots. Attorney Andrew Beiser is representing Disability Rights Louisiana and Volion in their lawsuit against Louisiana's Secretary of State and Attorney General. In what way do you feel these laws are violating federal voting rights? The Voting Rights Act says that folks with disabilities have the right to assistance in voting by the person of their choosing. These new laws restrict who they can choose. The goal? Overturning these laws. It is pushing this false narrative that voting by mail is unsafe. My clients are innocent victims in this ridiculous political argument. They just want to vote. Without everyone having their right to speak their voice, you don't get to hear the voices of those in your democracy or in your country. And CBS News reporter Katie Weiss joins us now here on set. Secretary of State Nancy Landry and this coalition of legislators got this thing passed. What are they saying about the impact it's having? Well, Scott, we reached out to the Louisiana Secretary of State for comment, and her office did not respond. We also reached out to two sponsors of the laws passed this summer, Louisiana Representative Josh Carlson and Louisiana Senator Caleb Klein-Peter. They also did not respond to our request for comments. Now, the state's attorney general did send us an email and they said that these are common sense requirements that we are confident that no disabled voter will be disenfranchised. Okay, so that's the politics of this. There's a lawsuit you mentioned. Where does that stand? Well, so far, the plaintiff's attorneys have asked a judge for a preliminary injunction, which would temporarily halt the law from going into effect for at least this election year. Uh, but so far, that motion was denied. So does that temporary loss indicate something is coming with the ultimate outcome? You would think that maybe that sets a tone for what the lawsuit might, you know, incur, but the plaintiffs tell me that they are feeling hopeful regardless of that setback. And actually, there is some, some wind in their sails right now. There are some similar laws restricting ballot assistance in Ohio that were struck down in a lawsuit earlier this year. And the judge called it a, quote, clear violation of a federally guaranteed voting right. You had this one example. Do we have a sense of how many people, though, could be prevented because of these new laws from, from getting access to voting? You know, I think a lot still remains to be seen. We have inquired with the state secretary of state for a data on that or some numbers, but we have not yet received a response. And I really don't think that we'll know the breadth of the full impact of this law or these laws that were passed earlier this summer until after the election. So, of course, Scott, we'll be sure to keep you posted. Excellent work reporting from Louisiana. Katie Weiss, thank you very much. Thank you.